Hey everybody, AdCat Tech here. How you doing? Today we're going to do a, a review and setup of the Hue, Philips Hue Ascend lamp. This is one of the Philips smart lamps. Um, it, it comes in three versions first. There's a floor lamp, a desk lamp. This is the desk lamp which we're going to show you. And then there's a pendant lamp, what they call, which is essentially this version and a hanging lamp. A couple quick things about this. Um, it comes with a two year warranty. Like a lot of the Philips Hue bulbs and such, there's no physical on-off button for this particular lamp or the other lamps. Um, so what you can do is you connect the Philips Hue Ascend table lamp to your Philips Hue system. Um, you can enjoy scene setting moods, lighting, uh, warm white lighting, basically time of day stuff. A lot of really cool stuff that they've uh, made a lot of improvements with with the Hue app. Um, you can play with the smart color lights. There's no limit with the uh, Philips Hue system. Uh, most of the bulbs and the color ones give you up to 16 million colors. So you can transform your home or whatever you're doing. If you're having a party, um, if you want to tell a story, you can have pictures, have the colors based on those pictures. There's a lot of really cool things you can do. I really like the Philips Hue system, and they've really made, as you've seen the videos that we've done, a lot of really great improvement for the app. Um, they've added a lot to it, a lot of customization, and a lot of cool things that are coming down the road from them. Um, so a little bit more about the lamp. It's a direct light. Um, as we'll see with angled table lamp. Um, so you can basically direct the light lamp however you want. It's got a, um, a specific um, head that you can adjust, which we'll see in a moment. The head of the lamp is movable, like I said, so you can focus the light on the spot um, that you'd like. A couple other quick cool things with this um, lit lamp, and actually most of the Hue things, like I was mentioning, how they made improvements with the Hue app. Um, you can make these lights um, dim slowly to wake you up. Um, in the morning or mimic sunrise or help you start your day. Um, it's really a cool thing what they've done. Um, so without further ado, let's start the unboxing, see what's in here. And we're going to then pair it with our Philips Hue hub. You are going to need your Philips Hue hub um, to pair this. So you have some sort of Hue hub or one of the um, Samsung Smart Links or one of the Wink um, hubs. You are going to need a hub to actually get this to work. So let's quickly open it up and do the unboxing. Okay, so we have a quick instruction lamp. And we're gonna yank this top out, and it looks like there is power in here, and actually an adapter piece. So this is part of the lamp. I'm gonna get that after, and we're gonna take out the main lamp piece now. Let's see, come on. Cool. So that's actually everything that is in the box. Let's close that up. So this is the lamp. It kind of looks almost like a slimmed down version of Lampy. Lampy was actually the uh, Mac lamp that Pixar actually designed. Um, that they just took the Mac design, if you remember the Macs, the old Apple Mac computers. Um, well, this is really trimmed down. Can't get that open now. So let's quickly open this up so you can get a look at it. So this is the lamp. You can see it's adjustable. Um, it actually doesn't move in all the directions I thought. I thought it actually was flexible. It only goes left and right. So you'd have to position this how you want. So let me get the rest of this unwrapped. We'll show you everything that's in here and then we'll get it set up. Okay, so we're back. I got everything out of the box. So I'm just going to put the box aside from now. I'm um, a little disappointed the lamp. I mean, it doesn't, it only goes sideways. So you'd have to angle the base depending upon the direction you're doing the light. It doesn't totally spin all the way up to the top. Um, and you'll notice you get with it one of the hue color ones that I mentioned, the bulb. Um, I actually thought the way the description was that this was part of it um, in a different bowl, but this is actually one of the 24 about, you can get these for about $20, $24 on Amazon. It does the colors that I mentioned and the whites, the bright whites, the daylights, the warm whites. Basically, you can choose all those colors. There's this plastic piece that comes in it. Um, the instructions aren't that good. They're pretty non-existent. So again, you, you can go up, but you can't go all the way. So if you did want a spotlight on the ceiling, again, you'd have to angle this in a particular way. Um, in, in with it, you get this. You get a quick start guide. 
Um, the really flimsy, small instruction manual is pretty straightforward. The plastic piece I'll go over in a minute. Like I was saying, this bulb is your standard bulb. 55, uh, the 16 million colors, bright whites, colors, everything. And then the bottom frosted piece of the lamp. So the way you're going to set this up is you're going to unscrew, and that's what this piece is for, to actually take this piece out. I'm just going to do it by hand. And this is how you're going to set the frosted piece up. So this piece comes out, which is inside there. Basically, you're going to take the frosted glass piece, place it carefully in there, and then you're going to take this piece back and actually put this in. The reason they give you that long plastic piece, and I'll show you in a minute, I'm doing this kind of in reverse, so you can actually screw it back in. So there's knobs, this is kind of cleverly designed, I was wondering what the piece is, and you'll notice here you can actually tighten the inside piece that's going to hold the frosted lamp, um, lamp shade essentially on. I'm going to make that tight, and again it fits in there, and you can twist and tighten that. I'm going to put the bulb in. Again, the bulb is replaceable, and we'll take a look at it assembled. Again, this is everything you get in the box. Again, this is the table lamp. Not exactly what I thought. It's about 19 inches high, weighs about three or four pounds, pretty light. Let's get it plugged in and set up and see what we think of the light. I am a little bit disappointed initially. Um, just the picture, not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, the reason I actually did it, just so you know, I got this on Amazon, I did pay for it. Let's plug it in and take the next step. So like most of the hue bulbs, when I plug this in, yep, the light should go on. It does. So now you can see it lit up. Um, and where's my phone? And we're going to go start the pairing process. Again, there's no power button on here. There's no on-off switch. You either have to get one of the hue switches. They have some new smart buttons that are coming out, or you can get the standard buttons that you've been using. Um, the switches that they have, which are programmable, you can have multiple lights on it, um, you can mix and match. So, so I'm going to go in now to the Hue app. Let me just launch the app. I'm going to go to settings, and you're going to see this all on the screen. It's probably going to be over here or over here. Um, and I'm going to do add light, and I'm going to search. And it's going to search for the device. So let's see if it finds it. Still searching, still searching. I may have to press the button on my switch. There's also a code, and a barcode here somewhere that we can just scan it and see if we can find the barcode. Still searching. It actually is usually much more seamless and quicker. See barcode on the box. Let's take a quick look. Oh, there it is. It actually did find it. It took a little bit longer, so I'm going to click on New Light Found. And you color candle. Okay, so it's actually seeing it not as the lamp name, but as the bulb name. So I'm going to click on that, and you notice when you click on it now on the hue, you notice it dim. Um, so I'm just going to leave the name for now, and we're going to go back. Okay, so I got it added. I created a room just to make the sake of simplicity. I can show you how to do that in another uh, video. It's very easy. I just wanted you to see the functionality of the lamp. Again, it twists now. That is the maximum angle that you can do there, and that is the angle there. Um, you can see it gives off some light. It is actually at its brightest setting. Again, the only way to turn it on and off is from the Hue app. So I'm going to go in and we're going to pick colors. I'm just going to show you guys some of the colors. Again, just like any of the other bulbs, you can kind of drag around, create a mood, create the settings, um, and pick, pick whatever you want. I'm going to shut off my other lamp here that I've been filming with just so you can get an idea of the colors. Uh, hopefully the camera will pick it up. But you can see actually how bright some of the colors are. Um, this is like a bright white, um, so you can get an idea of how it actually um, bright and how much light it gives off. If you didn't want to hold it up, you can actually see how much light it would give for room if you wanted to use it as a spotlight or something. I actually wouldn't recommend that. Um, 
And again, let me just show you some of the colors. This is at the brightest setting. We can also dim it. So that's at a dimmer setting, and then you can essentially make it a nightlight if you wanted or something else. And again, I'm just going to scroll through some of the colors at the lighter settings. Again, it really depends on what you're looking to do with the lamp um, and what you wanted to do. My initial use for this, I'm going to turn the other light back on, was to have a desk lamp uh, for my computer desk um, back here just so if I'm doing some work at night I would have a light. Again, is it worth the price? Probably not. This lamp is about $90 to $110 on Amazon in the United States. Essentially then that makes the, bulb, the lamp about $80 and the bulb that you can get separately about, as I mentioned earlier in the video, about $20 to $25. So if you had a nicer lamp that worked better for your desk and you just wanted to put the bulb in, you're better off getting the bulb. Again, you're going to get the same functionality, colors, all that um, from the bulb um, in any lamp essentially. I got the lamp because I thought the design and looking at the picture was going to be a little bit nicer and I got to see if I still like it. I don't really like the design and how it moves. Um, it still may work on the table um, as a, a nice uh, lamp if you want to just do work or whatever. So let me try and uh, use it for a bit. We're going to get back to you with our um, impressions, what we think, if we like it, if we don't like it, if we're going to keep it, um, and what we're, what we're going to move forward with on that. Um, so that's it. This is the Hue Philips Ascend table lamp. And let's use it, and then we'll tell you what we think. Hey everybody, we're back. I've been using the lamp for about two weeks now. I'm a little disappointed. Like I said, the Philips Hue bulbs I like. Um, really like they can do a lot of good things. It's just the lamp itself I'm really disappointed in. Um, I'm not just the design of it, you can see it is here now. Um, can you just turn the lamp? See here, I'm really disappointed. A couple of things about the lamp, just a couple of details. It's about 19 inches high. Um, the bulbs are going to last for a long time. Um, about 25,000 hours the bulbs are rated to it. But again, you can get the bulb separately. You can pair this with Google, um, Home Assistant, Alexa. Um, Siri Home Kit, if you have the home Apple Home System as well, you can pair with that so you can do the voice, so you can speak into your speaker and do that. So again, I'm disappointed with the lamp. I got it in the initial um, looking at it with the picture. I thought it looked nicer um, or would look nicer and serve a better purpose. But you can really use the bulb in anything. Unless you love the lamp, I would recommend not to get it, to be honest. Again, the bulb works the same as the functionality. You go into your Hue app, which I have here. And notice you can change it to whatever color you want. It is on the brightest setting right now. But again, I'm a little disappointed just in the lamp itself. Um, so I'm probably going to send it back and return it because it's in that return window. And just get a bulb and another lamp um, for the workspace here. Just if I need papers and I'm working, I don't have to have the, the bright lights on. Um, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is a quick setup and review of the Philips Hue Ascend table lamp. Again, there's two other versions of this. A hanging lamp and a like a floor standing one that you can get as well. Um, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, a like. Um, be sure to subscribe. We do everything, making videos on everything now, motorcycle stuff, tech reviews, you name it, we're doing it. So please subscribe and watch, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.